What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, the Travel Trucker, y'all. Today is Wednesday, January 24th. It is 10 o'clock tonight, man. We just made it to Birmingham, man. It's raining real bad. I actually got a bad headache, man. So what we gonna do before we start this video, man, I'm gonna take me a nap. I appreciate y'all for understanding why I'm taking a nap, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you hit that notification bell right over there somewhere. But real quick, man, we're going to go to sleep for a couple hours. And in the morning, I'm going to get up, man. We're going to do our first YouTube video short review. I've never done one of these. I got one. We got a review, man. We're going to talk about it, man. I seen this reel from this other driver. And I had like four or five people like tagging like, yo, man, what do you think of this, man? What's this scenario? So we're going to go to sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, <laughs> we're going to review this video that five people wanted me to review. So i see y'all when I get up. still we finna get up brush my teeth man we gonna do that video review we talked about cause man I, I, I wanna break something down for y'all so let's get up and put on our clothes and open these curtains man is it just me or it won't stop raining bruh it's like come on can we get a break please Please, Mother Nature, can we get a break, man? God. Get them brush my damn teeth, man. Hold up, YouTube. Before we react to that video, man, we just got a monster load. So we finna get up and uh, we finna brush our teeth and we gonna go pick up that load. And when we shut down, after we go through our day, we gonna react to this video though, cause we gotta talk about it. So let's go get this load, get down this road, and I'ma holler at y'all. Let's get rolling. Almost forgot y'all. All right, we made it all the way back to downtown Birmingham last night from Oklahoma City. If you ever go from Oklahoma City uh, back east, the furthest you can make it is Birmingham. So it's about 10 and a half hours with no, I had a few traffic hiccups, but we still made it through coming through Memphis. But this is pretty much the furthest you can make it on one clock. So we finna head down, pick up a, a Church Point, Louisiana load, and hopefully the rain is not too bad the further south we go. So we're going to try to get about this rain. So let's get on the highway. We're going to have a little rush hour traffic again through downtown Birmingham, but it's all good. And we're going to run We're gonna run the roads today. We ain't really doing too much. So let's get down there. And you know what's crazy? I don't know if people realize it, but Birmingham sits in the valley. Birmingham is actually surrounded by a little bit of mountain range. You know, I think the... The Smoky Mountains begin uh, in, in Alabama. So, you know, maybe research that or fact check me. I'm not sure, but drop a comment below if you've been to Birmingham, man. Birmingham is no country town. This is almost like a little Atlanta. You know, it's a lot of commerce here. The city is growing significantly. This is actually where my family's from. I have a lot of family still in Birmingham to this day. This is where my mother comes from. So, uh, I hold Birmingham in a high place. I'm here a lot. You know, and, and you know, I love the people here. But that's just a cool fact a lot of people don't know. Birmingham sits in the valley. Alright, let's keep rolling. Alright, we made it to the plant. Let's get our stuff on.
come get ready with me. Pause. What y'all fake cam about today, man? Gloves on. Alright, let's get these straps and tarps out. Alright guys, we just got our load. We're getting uh nine, one L, one lime, and four type S. So we're gonna get 14 pallets and this load weighs 45,610. So this is about two thousand pounds lighter than my typical load. I usually take 47 to 50. So we're going to Church Point, Louisiana. So let's get this loaded on and throw our tarps and get rolling. We got to, we're going to figure out the best way to duck this weather. And we're going to stop and take us a shower once we get on I-10. Guys, we get this low tarp and get the hell up out of here. Now, this gonna be an odd one. They got this big ass load of lime. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Let's hurry up. These, these damn sidewalls are closed faster. We can get up out of here. All right, guys, we got loaded, got up out of there, man. It was raining real bad, so I had to go. Um, we passed Montgomery, man. We're gonna take the 65 route so the rain won't be as bad once we get down south on 10. But uh, yeah, man, that's what we're doing now, man. So we're gonna keep pushing and go from here. Oh, that sucks, man. This, man, you guys gotta be careful on this road, man. He hit the wall, man. Luckily, he's okay. Tease some peace for that young kid. We are in Mobile now. Got to be careful on that road, guys. Got to be careful. All right, let's keep rolling. All right, YouTube, we just made it to the Walker Center in Louisiana. Just checking on the load right quick. Got down. I'm trying to think, do I want to stop somewhere, take a shower, don't want to eat dinner because we ain't we got some time to kill, but... I want to go on the other side of Baton Rouge, so let's get back in the truck and uh, get on the other side of the Mississippi River. And we got a good, old, we got the good old Jordan Carriers doing the oversized wind turbine. If that's something you want to do, man, check out my Jordan Carriers episode, man. They do a lot of that heavy haul. All right, let's get back on the road, guys. You guys can see. Screw, I'm gonna show y'all. Look, look, look at the, look at the river, man. Look how the fog is sitting on the river, guys. That is cool, man. That is cool. Look over there. All right, let's get over the bridge. Almost to the custom. All right, and just like I thought, guys. As soon as I cross over to Mississippi. The fall gone, the rain gone, it is dry. We have finally made it out of all that bad weather this week, guys. So let's hurry up and get to Boston Market where we're gonna grab us a bite to eat. We're gonna go park up at the custom. But we're gonna get a bite to eat and we're gonna shower. Oh yeah. All right, YouTube, we done made the Lafayette. We finna get our bag ready for a shower. Some Boston Market first, and uh, do that. Mm -hmm. A little bit of pork steaky. Shout out to Johnnell, man, and Mr. Polk State, man, Lafayette, Louisiana, man. Oh, what else we need? Get us some clothes. Let's go 
get us a shower and get us something to eat. Well, yeah, I'm thinking that's my truck, but it's not. No, that's his truck. This shit loud as hell. All right, let's go in and get us something to eat at one of the very few Boston markets left in the South. And we'll get us a shower. Oh, yeah. Oh, drop a comment below if you've been here before. Let me know where all the Boston markets at in the South. Let me know, man, so I might got to check them out. Boston market. Guys, it's crazy. This Boston Market and closed down too. It is now a TA kitchen. No more sweet potatoes or meatloaf, man. That's crazy. We were just talking about the y'all shut down, and now this one gone. So no more Boston Market. So we could either go to Water Burger or Waffle House or Burger King, man. I don't want no damn burger, man. Damn, I have my mind set on that food, y'all. Drop a comment below, see what I see. Say Burger King, Waffle House, or Water Burger. I think we're gonna go to Waffle House, man. Ah, man, that is messing up my night. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we just took a shower. It just dawned on me. I'm only 20, 30 minutes from the drop. I could just stay here tonight. So let's get in the truck and we're going to talk about this reaction to this video. Let's go. On well, second thought, I got this dude, this loud ass reefer right next to me. If he don't move in five minutes, we just gonna head to the customer where we can get some quiet. Cause I don't know why he wanna park right next to my ass. Damn. All right, man, let's get the hell up out of here to this stupid ass. It's always them, 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 them stupid ass drivers, man. I hate saying that, man, but. Why you gonna park right next to me, bro? It's a hundred spots, bro. I'm out, man. You got it, bro. Loud ass reefer. Never park next to a reefer truck if you want good sleep, man. All right, Lafayette, let's get to Church Point. Oh, yeah. to made it to our customer we're about to get this uh reaction video started man hey real quick man if you haven't done so already make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel guys so real quick i'm gonna post it up right here and we're gonna watch it together let's get into it yo why i get back in my truck after i was home they told me to leave my truck at the terminal so i left my truck at the terminal they called me like yeah uh, is it okay for somebody to use your truck? They truck broke down. So I'm like, oh, cool, go ahead. Like, you know, I'll try to be friendly, be nice. Like, tell them, like, just, you know, don't touch my stuff. They need to use my truck for a day. So I get back in my truck. My truck smell like weed. Smell like they've been smoking in here. Like, I call my dispatch. I tell them, like, yo, somebody been smoking in my truck. It, it smell like weed. Whoever was in was smoking weed. Like, I got proof and everything. I found a little piece of Dutch in the car. I call him, send him the proof. He called a guy, a guy tell him that he wasn't smoking in my truck, that it smelled like weed in my truck before he got in here. 
So I tell my dispatch, why did he tell you that? So he ain't tell you that in the beginning? No, he ain't tell me that. But he told me that the truck smelled like weed before he got in there. That it was all. All right, guys, we're going to stop right there. Hey, real quick, man. What do you guys think of that? Drop a comment below. So pretty much he works at a company that may or may not have slip seating, right? So he took a day off or two and his dispatch asked him to use his truck. He get back in the truck from being off and his truck smelled like heavy weed. He even found a roach in the cup holder. So he asked the dispatcher, say, hey, whoever had my truck was smoking weed. Dispatcher go, asked the other driver, hey, well, you know what you think about it? He said, no, nah, it smelled like weed when I got there. Okay, stop right there. As soon as he said that, I would have said, hey, he's lying. He needs to be drug tested. I can't, I'm not going to get caught up with this. If my truck smells like weed and I get pulled over at a scale, that's my ass. I don't know if he got weed hidden in the mattress or whatnot. So he needs to be drug tested. That's the first thing he should have did instead of going back and forth. Second thing, I, I'm not a fan of slip seating. If your company does slip seating, I wouldn't work. The only company I would work for that has slip seating is Walmart. Now, once you get a few years under your belt, I think you have assigned trucks. But when you first get there, they do have slip seating because you're not OTR. You're week to week. So the same truck you got now may not be the same one next. I think uh, Avery Express does it and a few other ones. But slip seat, I'm not a fan of slip seating because somebody could put something in your truck and you get pulled over and you, you, you know, you catch that charge. Now, granted. Most companies should have cleaning services like janitors or maids that come clean the truck nightly when you when you park in the terminal. So somebody's using your truck and the truck you hop into, it should be clean. If not, don't get in that truck. This dude found weed in the truck. He smelled weed in the truck. The dude tried to throw it to him and say, oh, it smelled like that. Now, now listen to what he said. Now, now, if it smelled like weed when you got in the truck. Why you ain't say nothing when you got in that man truck? Say, hey man, this dude truck smell like weed. I ain't gonna so you gonna drive it in the truck that smell like weed? That's a lie. That dude was smoking weed in his truck. Furthermore, I had some people ask me, can you smoke weed as a truck driver in states where it's legal? Uh, cause it's a lot of things on in there. I'm gonna tell you right now. No, when you have a CDL commercial vehicle, FMCSA states, you cannot be on any type of drugs. You cannot. Take weed. I don't give a damn if you're from Colorado. You cannot smoke weed. Now, granted, a medical marijuana car, it doesn't matter. You cannot have no weed in your system. The federal law has still not mandated it legal to smoke marijuana. It is sanctioned by states. It's legal in states, but not federally. So you cannot have marijuana in your system and operate a commercial vehicle, point blank, period. It's just like having alcohol in your system. Now, granted, how I feel about that? Is my opinion, I think you should be able to smoke weed because at the end of the day, you can still drink liquor. You just can't be intoxicated while you driving. But since weed so up in your system, even when you're not smoking, they look at it like, oh, you could have been smoking and been high on the road and killed somebody. So they don't want to open Pandora's box. But somehow you could buy liquor in the store midday and get drunk and go drive a truck. I mean, go, go, go drive a truck, car, whatever. So... No, you cannot smoke weed with a CDL, even with American marijuana license. Nowhere in America can you do that. Canada, I don't know. Um, now, if you're an owner operator and you want to smoke weed, go ahead. But I'm going to tell you why I don't do that. Because the FMCSA does random drug testing. You will get an email that you have 24, 48, 72 hours to respond to. And they're going to ask you, where you at? Oh, I'm in such, okay, you got 24 hours to go to this clinic, to this urgent care, to go get a drug test and let them submit it to us. We're going to send the paperwork over. No matter where you're at in the country, they're going to tell you to go take that drug test. So if you're an own operator, you may not be under a microscope as under a company, but if you were still getting an accident and they do blood work on you, blood tests on you, toxicology, if somebody trying to sue you or you trying to sue them, you got the weed in your system, you may not win your case or you may lose your case, even if you're not at fault. Um, So... If you're going to get into trucking, you cannot smoke weed. So if you want to get your CDL and come out here and make this money, you got you want to make six figures, you got to give up smoking marijuana. Now, if you want to go drink alcohol off-duty, go ahead. Um, smoke black and mild cigarettes, do your thing. Do mushrooms, do your thing. That's natural. They don't be in your system. Just don't do shrooms in the truck. But that video, man, was perfect example of 
how another driver could screw you and make you cost you your career on the humbug. So don't smoke weed, period. If you're doing slip seating, don't be leaving under nobody truck. See, what I like to do, I take videos of trucks. Whenever I get out of them, my whole time I've ever had a seat, it was 10 years ago, I would take videos in the truck at, when I used to work at the city and county because if it was dirty or clean, it, I had it on video. So if you left something in there, I knew it wasn't for me. I could prove myself. But that's all, man. I appreciate y'all for hanging with us, man. Uh, we finna get this load off in the morning. Then we go into the house. We done for the week. We gonna put the truck in the shop tomorrow afternoon. Let them work on it. And we'll get it back Monday morning. Um, I'm gonna drop another video tomorrow as well. I already got done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this one first. And then that one tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll drop one in tomorrow night. So I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all, man. The channel's going up, man. We have 4,000. We trying to get to 10,000. Once we get to 10,000, we going to 25,000. Once we go to 25, we going to 50. And once we get to 50, I really want that YouTube plaque, man. Y'all help me get that plaque, please, y'all. So I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all be safe, get some rest. Save y'all money. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one.